Hey guys, it's Kristen with another Chance Resale. Welcome to my channel. I'm a full-time reseller and welcome to another purse sale video. So in addition to thrifted purses for sale, I'm also going to be opening a mystery purse box from America's Thrift Supply. So if you guys saw, I did an unboxing of a 10 pound mystery jewelry box from them. Um, so I also uh, got a purse box and a watch box. And I also was able to get a 15% off coupon code for you guys. So if you're interested in checking out America's Thrift Supply, um, I will put the link to their website in the description box and the code for 15% off at checkout is Kristen. Okay, so I'll put the, the spelling right here and you just put that in for the promo or coupon code um, at checkout and you'll save 15%. Okay, so we're gonna open that box and then we're also gonna go through some shoes. So if you see anything you're interested in in the video, you can email me at anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. All my information is down below in the description box. Um, the pricing you hear does not include shipping. That is based on your location and the weight of your items. Um, just give me a timestamp and a brief description of the items you're interested in. And if you're a new buyer, please make sure you give me your PayPal email address and your mailing address so I can calculate the shipping and then email you a PayPal invoice. Um, payment is due within 48 hours. Um, I adopted a new rule. Um, my payment is always due once you receive the invoice, but uh, once 48 hours has passed, and you know, I don't hear from you, um, I will cancel the invoice and your items will be forfeited. Um, if you need more time, just reach out, you know, communication is key. Um, so just remember that and also remember to check the sold list that I will keep down in the description box. Um, sorry, comment section. So if you just scroll up on this video to where all the comments are, it'll be the first comment pinned at the top and it will say sold so just make sure you check that list before you email me it just helps me get through all the emails faster and you know not having to write back if the sold list is there that you know you guys can check and just refresh the page after you watch the video because i will be updating it you know as things are selling okay so now that the housekeeping is out of the way let's get into the purses and we're gonna do the clearance section first which is purses from the last video that I drop by five to maybe up to 20 bucks. So last chance, let's see. And we're gonna start off with the Cole Haan. So it is the gold pebbled leather, little satchel, really cute, really nice condition. This one will take you right into the fall and the winter. Um, it was really nice condition, very super minimal wear, uh, zipper closure in the middle section has your zipper compartment. And then you have a little front section and a little back section. Okay. Um, so three compartments, super cute, nice size, and we're dropping it to $40. Um, I always offer measurements if you guys email me and you need a measurement, no problem. Um, and I go through the um, clearance purses a little quicker since I already showed them in a video. So if you need to see them in more detail, you can just go back to last week's video. And hopefully the FedEx man doesn't come while I'm videoing because things always happen once I press that record button, right? <laughs> okay, so next we have the Dooney and Burke. I'm surprised no one snatched this up. This one's really nice. There was an issue. There's no shoulder strap. So you just have the, the um, handles. It can fit, you know, in the crook of your arm. It does fit all the way up if you have like a smaller arm, but you know, it's all the way up in your armpit, but it's really cute. It's like a purpley gray pebbled leather. Really nice condition on this one too. Minimal wear to the bottom and the corners but there is a little bit of wear. The handles are nice, minimal wear to the handles. You have the snap closure. 
And then you have your three compartments. So let me remove all my stuffing. And you have the first compartment. You have the back. And then you have the center. Nice bright red interior. And the inside is very good condition. There's um, you know, very little dirt, very nice overall really nice on this used bag and we're gonna do drop it to sixty dollars six zero then we had the morris moskowitz and this one was a really pretty like pale gray braided leather or woven leather you have the mm there super nice condition on this one this is such a light gray that you can honestly wear this all year round um, and you can adjust the handle very slightly though. It is a shoulder bag um, Super minimal wear to the corners and the bottom zipper closure and The interior is leather So it makes for easy cleanup There is a little bit of discoloration But it's really nothing serious. There's your Morris tag Nice size shoulder bag, and we're gonna drop this one to $40. Okay, then we had the Michael Kors crossbody. This is a black pebbled leather with the pocket, zippered pocket here in the front. Nothing on the back. Really nice condition on the corners. This bag overall is great. So the, the handle is great. There was just a little bit of wear to the pull zipper closure nice interior okay the little slip pocket there nice size you know not too big and we're dropping this one to thirty dollars then we had the this really cute rainbow it's by top trends um it is only a shoulder bag you i'm sure you can replace this handle with a crossbody strap because it is removable or it's a wristlet. I just thought it was cute for the summer. It's rainbow tie dye, great for you know a child. Oh, it goes good with my nails. Um, or just a fun bag for like you know an outdoor event. You have a zipper pocket here, zipper po uh, zipper closure on the top. Super excellent condition. This thing's like new. Okay, and even if you wanted it to make to be a crossbody and change out the strap. All right, and we're dropping this one to fifteen dollars. Um, then we had the Marlowe. So this is a vintage black leather shoulder bag, super classic and just nice and plain. It's a little wrinkled, but once you have your stuff in it, it'll be fine. Okay, really nice condition on this one as well. Um, the uh, strap is removable if you wanted to make it a clutch and then the inside has your Marlowe there super nice very minimal wear on this one and we're gonna drop this one to $25 this one was 40 I'm dropping it to 25 okay then we had the Vera Bradley little pouch. I love the blue pop on this one. It's a little wristlet um, or, you know, use it for your makeup or lipstick or, you know, toiletries for travel. Multiple different uses for this one and we're dropping it to $10. That's it guys, 10 bucks on that. Super nice condition. Then we had the Wilson's Leather. So this is the Big Mama, the Big Honker, the Big um, Bumblebee. Uh, this is Wilson's Leather, so it is leather. You have the little tag here, you can remove it. This is great for work or travel, um, so or school, anything like that. And it has a pocket on the front. There was a little bit of wear to the corners bottom a little bit of wear um, and then let's see on the handle there was the mark there and but this one not only does it have super nice big handles 
it comes with the shoulder or crossbody strap and it was never used. So that's in there. And then it is a snake print interior and it has this little insert for a laptop or um, iPad that is removable. And then the other side has your slips. And it does have this uh, button closure. Okay, so this one we are dropping to $50, five zero. Okay, let me put that over there. All right, then we had the Vera. This is the pink tote. It has a little bit of blue in it and yellow and green. You have a pocket here and then the zipper pocket. No pockets on the back. Super nice condition, nice long handles. Um, zipper closure and then inside you have your slips on both sides and this one we are dropping to $20 okay super cute colors for the summer then we had the super cute Tommy Hilfiger little um, little mini tote great as a lunch bag you have the leather, the blue leather lining on the top, canvas material, blue leather on the bottom, super nice condition, and it has a little um, button closure, and there's your interior. Super cute, and we're dropping this one to $20 as well, 20 bucks, 20, 20. Then we have the Whistles. So this is a new brand to me. Um, this I've never heard of. If you look it up, the brand sells really well. I mean, this little, little wristlet, look. I mean, it even has the tag in it. Leather wristlet, $110 for this little wristlet, okay? It is leather, it's gray, it's in excellent condition. Still has the tag in it. And I'm dropping this one to $30. I mean, someone can even resell this. They're going for like 80 bucks online. So super nice, uh, 30 bucks. Then we had the quilted Betsy Johnson. This is a shoulder or crossbody. You have the, um, you know, the name on the ta uh, strap there. And then you have, it's like a um, puffy, like a poofy quilt pocket there. There is a little mark here from the black on this, but you can't see it once it's closed. Blank on the back. Super nice condition. Zipper closure. There's your fun interior with the zipper and your slips. All right, this one you can use year round and we're going to drop it to $25, okay? And then lastly, we have a Vera backpack and this one is the blue and black and a little bit of yellow and white, little drawstring backpack and you can pull these handles to draw it closed and tie it. And then you have the contrast plaid interior. And we're dropping this one to 20 bucks. Okay, $20 on that one. Oh, and there's a pocket here on the front with the zipper. Okay, so that wraps up the clearance section. Now we have two pages of thrifted purses to get through. Um, and then we're gonna open up the America's Thrift Supply um, purse mystery purse box and then we'll go through some shoes so uh, remember click that thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to me please consider doing so it's the um, button right underneath the video that says subscribe and if you want to be notified of any new videos that I put out you just click the bell right next to that and click it to all all right let's keep going so first up we have now if you guys watched my um, auction on Roy's channel, Horizon Picks. Uh, this past Wednesday night, you would have seen um, the next three bags. 
um, on his channel. Uh, we did a vintage show on there live. Um, so I'm sorry if you've already seen these, but here they are again. Uh, this is a eel skin purse. It's a vintage eel skin purse. It is a shoulder bag. It's kind of like a blue gray. Okay, you have the zipper on the back here. Really nice condition on this one, especially for it being vintage. You have, there's a little spot there, but the inside is suede. Look at that. So pretty. Okay, you have a zipper pocket there. There's your front section. Smells like suede, really nice. And we're going to do $25 on this. And this you can even wear with a pair of jeans. Like I could wear this with this outfit right now. It doesn't have to be dressy. So keep that in mind. Um, then I have, if you're interested in the matching wallet, I actually bought these at two separate stores, but I figured, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have the purse and it goes perfectly. It is a little bit darker, but it's the same concept. It is eel skin. Um, you have the zipper on the back. This one, I don't even think was ever used. It's in such good condition. Okay, you have um, a pocket here if you wanna maybe put your checkbook, uh, the back flap and have you know your checks there. You can put your cash here, coins, cards, license, or ID. Okay, so this one is gonna be $15, but if you want both, I'll do both for 40. So, I mean 30. 40 is if you, if you do them separate. If you buy both together, I'll discount it to $30 if you buy both. So 25, 15, or both for 30. All right, then I have this super cute, oops, yeah, vintage beaded purse. It's like a little, um, like a little Twinkie. <laughs> it's got a uh, cord handle, or I should say strap. It's got these cute little tassels on both sides, and it is beaded with some color in there. And this does fit a phone. And let me take out the stuffing and it is blank inside. There's no pockets. Okay. Super cute little guy. Um, and we're gonna do 20 bucks on this one. Then another vintage purse I have is this one. This is like a little envelope purse. Uh, super narrow, it is fabric. I did wipe it down so there might be a little bit of fuzzies on it. Um, but you have a metal handle, there's a little bit of discoloration there, and then you're just gonna pop the little, it's almost like a kiss lock, and it's open, no pockets. Okay, this you can definitely fit a phone. Okay, phone, wallet, maybe not keys, maybe one or two keys. Um, so super elegant. And we're going to do 20 bucks on this one as well. Then we have a Perlina. Perlina is, they make great leather bags. This one is new with tag. However, there, there are a couple flaws. So I will show you. It's this really pretty like fuchsia -y, purple -y, uh, with the silver tone hardware. And the back here just has a couple scratches right there. So I guess maybe it was with something else that scratched it, but you have two little pockets on the sides. Great condition otherwise. And then the inside you have three compartments. So the front is magnetic and so is the back. And then you have the zippered middle compartment. All right, so just remember that one side had a couple of scratches, but otherwise new with tag, and we're going to do this one for 45. Nice little satchel type bag, <laughs> baguette style actually. Then we have a fossil. This one is butter soft leather. Butter soft black leather. It is set up right now to be a crossbody, but you can adjust it to be a shoulder bag. 
you have the uh, turn lock here with this pocket and then these two are pockets as well the back you have a little section to put cards if you would like or your keys or phone for easy quick access um, the corners everything is in really nice condition butter soft leather zipper closure and the inside you have fossil on one side with your uh, zipper and then slips on the other all right super nice lots of compartments and we're gonna do 45 on it then I have a sack roots I think you guys really like the sack roots um, they're so fun this is a crossbody or you can adjust it to be a shoulder bag look at how cute it is the coated canvas so it's very easy to clean look at all these cute little hang tags you got your tassels you got your um, elephant all right and here's your front these two are zippered pockets the back has a zippered pocket there's your little sack roots on that side sack roots on this side super nice condition zipper closure There's your inside, zipper, and slips. Super nice condition on this one, nice size, and we're going to do 40, $40. Then I have a Tano. So this one, um, it has a couple of pen marks, so I priced accordingly, but the leather on it is really nice. It's by Tano, T-A-N-O, um, crossbody in a beautiful chestnut um, pebbled leather. So the bottom does have a pen mark there, but otherwise nice condition. Um, then you have the zipper closure and there's a pen mark there, right there. And let's get this out of here. And the inside has a couple pen marks in the bottom and then there's a little rip in the zipper here. So, or not really rip, but like the thread is coming loose. So I just wanted to point that out to you guys. And um, so because of all of that, I'm only going to do $25 on this, unless this is like a $45 bag. So I like how it's a little bit structured. Really nice, nice, beautiful color. Again, this will, color will take you into the fall, winter, year-round color. So 25 on it. And then we're doing a nine and company. This is nine and company. Um, faux leather, fun color snake print little purse. You can also fold it down and have it as a little clutch. Um, you open this one up, it is a little snap closure, and there's your interior. All right, super cute, nice, fun purse. It actually goes, you can even wear it with what I'm wearing now, nice denim. And we will do $23 on this one. Super nice condition. Then we have a Perlina, another Perlina. This is a really great brand, guys, so keep your eyes out. I mean, the leather is phenomenal on it. This bag is uh, new without tag, and it's like a, um, it's kind of like a salmony red, if that makes sense. On camera, it's coming off more actual red, but in person, it's more of like, um, like a, a lighter red, if that makes sense. Um, so it's super cute little crossbody. I love this chain detail. Okay, you have the strap. There's the back. So like I said, it's uh, new without tag um, because it has the little protection on that still. And there's your zipper and you have a slip on this side. Super cute, nice, fun, you know, with the chain detail. And we're going to do 45 on this one. Butter, soft leather, really nice. Then we have, speaking of butter leather, 
B. Mikowski also makes butter leather purses, but he doesn't make purses anymore. So grab them while you can. This is a nice black leather with a twisted handle. You have your signature pouch pocket on the back there. Super nice condition on this one as well. You have a little flap here. It is magnetic. And then you have your signature interior with all your pockets over there and nothing on that side. Really nice on this one, nice little size shoulder bag and we're going to do 45 on it. Then we have a another Vera backpack. So if you are interested in either of the Vera backpacks since they are <laughs> since they are the same pattern uh, make sure you let me know if it's the drawstring one or the actual backpack one um, and then put the price also or timestamp, okay? Um, just so I know which one you're talking about. So this one is like a little actual backpack. You have little um, pockets on the side here, zipper pocket here. You even have a zipper pocket on the back if you want to keep your wallet in it since it'll be against your back so nobody can, you know, get in these pockets as you're walking or something. Um, it does have adjustable handles, straps, zipper closure, and then you have your slips. Okay, so a nice little size too. Backpack purses are very trendy right now. Um, and this one we're gonna do $25. All right, then we have a another butter leather. Butter Leather Liz Claiborne. I couldn't believe this was Liz Claiborne when I pulled it off the shelf because it is so buttery leathery and usually Liz Claiborne does not make leather purses. Um, they do have a few, but usually they're faux, but this one's in really nice condition. Um, got the silver tone hardware. You have a zipper pocket here on the front and a pouch and it's a zipper closure. And we have your Liz Claiborne there and some slip pockets. Nice little shoulder bag size and we're going to do $25. All right, then we have a Brighton. I actually sold this exact Brighton before. Um, so here's another one. <laughs> it is black pebbled leather with like a patent leather braiding or woven this through it and I and here's your Brighton hang tag and I love the handle I mean look at the chain detail really cool super nice condition you have a pocket on each side I don't know if I mentioned that and then it's a zipper closure closure and it's like a little um, baguette style bag there's your Brighton in there super nice condition zipper Nice little shoulder bag, and we're going to do 45 on it. Okay, now I have some purses that are down here, so I'm going to stop the video and move them up here, uh, so I'm not like reaching down the floor all the time, so I'll be right back. Let's keep going. So I actually found another little thrift shop in my new area, and it's, it's called the Bargain Barn, but it's really not any bargains. Um, it's not cheap, um, but they do have a lot of designer items. They have an entire room that they call posh, and it's all like higher end designer items, but they're not cheap. Um, are they cheaper than buying them new? Yes, of course, but for resale, not so much. Anyway, I was still able to find something and I thought this was really cool. It's DKNY and it is leather with um, the shoulder or crossbody strap and then the handles. I thought it was cool. It's like, um, you know, the graffiti. You have a pocket here on the back and it's actually in really nice condition. DKNY New York. Super nice condition zipper closure 
There's your interior. Great bag for the summer. Okay, super cool. I mean, this, this bag is super cool. I really like it. And we're going to do $48 on it. Really nice condition. Then we have a Bach, B-O-C. This one, um, I try to always incorporate um, some faux leather, like vegan leather purses, because um, I know not everybody likes the leather. So I chose this one. It's a nice fall to winter bag. It's actually a year round bag, but um, it is a shoulder bag or you can adjust it to be a crossbody. It's like the perfect medium size. You have a zipper pocket here, a zipper pocket on the back. Super nice condition. And then the inside, you have two zippered compartments. take this stuff out. So the first zippered section has some slip pockets and then the other zippered section has your logo and zipper. Super nice condition, faux leather, and we're going to do 25 bucks. Okay, switch in the page we have an Amy Kestenberg tote. If you guys are unfamiliar with Amy Kestenberg, this brand goes for quite a good amount. And look at the size of this tote. So there's your Amy Kestenberg. It is like a um, nylon uh, with the leather trim. And you have a pocket, zipper pocket here on the front. You have your side pockets. The back has a nice big um, pouch pocket, the corners and everything, really nice condition on this one, nice handles, it is a zipper closure, and then your interior is nice and big, you have the zipper there, and slips, and there was, yeah, there was a stain there though, okay, but really nice, take it on vacation, take it on the plane, uh, take it to the gym, school, work, anything. It's great for everyday use. Um, where am I? $60, six zero. And then speaking of totes, we have another Liebeskind uh, made in Berlin. And this is a tote as well. This one is black nylon. And you have the crossbody leather strap. It is removable, or you can use the handles. It's butter leather, nice condition. All right, bottoms and corners. That's just a little fuzz on there. And it's a zipper closure. This one is more like a rounded um, size. It's not like an actual like tote shape so it's let me show you holding it up it's kind of rounded almost more like a duffel and then your interior is uh, black and plain in there and you have your Liebeskind with your zipper and a fuzz <laughs> and then your slips on that side and a Dallas hair those come free all right so for the Liebeskind Nylon tote, we're doing 60 as well, six zero. Then we have, okay, this is so cute, I had to get it. So at that same um, thrift store, the Bargain bargain Barn, they did have purses, but most of them were like worn to bits and damaged, or they were the posh ones and they were super expensive. So, um, I did manage to find this. It's not exactly a purse, but I thought it was too cute to leave it there. So they called this a bag and a book. Okay, so it's a um, canvas tote with this really pretty transfer wear um, rose detail. And on the back as well, super excellent condition. I don't think it was ever even used. The Dallas hair comes free. Um, and then there's a book inside. So it comes with the matching book. So 
there, let me show you the inside of the purse then, or the tote, then we'll go over the uh, book. Okay, there's the brand and everything. Now the book is just as pretty, look at it. Oh my God. If only I had time to read. I used to read all the time. Before I got into reselling, I would read like a book a month and I know that might sound slow, but I like to really like enjoy it and especially when I was living at home and I was reading the amount of noise and everything because my sister and her family were in the apartment downstairs and they were always up here and it was just really loud. It took me forever to read because I'd be reading the same sentence over and over again because I kept getting distracted. Anyway, so this book is um, about the New England witchcraft trials. So inspired by the heroine of Nathaniel Hawthorne's The Scarlet Letter, Hester is a timeless tale of art, ambition, and the desire in a world shaken by the enduring legacy of New England's witchcraft trials. Um, it's called hauntingly lyrical, lush, spellbinding. So if I had time, I'd be reading this. So if whoever buys this and reads it, let me know how it is. Let me know all about it. Um, so we're gonna do on the bag and a book, $30, okay? So cool, love it, so cool. Okay, um, next up we have a Simply Vera by Vera Wang. This is also full of fuzz and Dallas hair. Uh, this is also a faux leather purse. It is black with the crossbody um, strap and some gunmetal chain. There's the front with the Simply Vera. You have a zipper pocket here, plain on the back, super nice condition on this one. Now you have three compartments on this one as well. So you have a back that is buttoned, you have a front that is buttoned, and then you have the center which is zippered. It's a little fuzzy down there too, I'll get that out. Okay. And then you have this little like snake print pattern in the middle. So cute. So um, this one we're going to do $25. Oh, let me put them over here. Then we have a Banana Republic. This is another little um, like baguette style purse, little satchel. It is butter leather. Banana Republic makes great leather bags. Um, nice big handles. Excuse me, you have a zipper pocket here which with this cool little strap thing and the back you have this like perforated um, very minimal wear to the corners there is a little bit of wear but nothing super major um, then it's a zipper closure and there's your interior a little bit of spotting down there nothing too crazy okay nice little size you can fit this over your arm and we're going to do 35 on this one put that down there then we have this super cute one so this is by a brand called Bodhi I think it says or Bodhi Bodhi B-O-D-H-I look at how stinking cute this is it actually goes with my outfit pretty well um, look at the bow, it is leather, and this is a perforated blue with the white leather. Super nice condition. There's your brand right there, B-O-D-H-I. Okay, so let's check out the inside. The inside has a button closure, and there's your um, information, your tag and everything, and it's a cute quote. It says, effort is not concerned with results. Okay, slip on that side, nice condition in there. Cute little bag for the summer, and we're gonna do $45. So next right. up we have the, the sack, <laughs> and it's this cute little um, crocheted uh, woven with the braided handle, little, uh, little shoulder bag, super nice condition all black with the zipper closure. And you have your interior, 
with the sack. And the only thing with this one is the little pull um, is broken off on this one on the inside zipper. So I'm only gonna ask $14 on this one. 14 on the little sack purse. Then we have a Mark Fisher. This one is a crossbody. It is um, faux croc. Mark Fisher, you have the zipper closure or zipper pocket here. Then the back, you have your little section if you wanna put your um, cards or cash in for easier access. But this part goes against your body, so you know it's not like open to the public. <laughs> Um, really nice condition on the corners. It is a zipper closure. And then your interior, you have your Mark Fisher with your zipper and slips. Okay, nice cool faux croc purse and we're gonna do 30 bucks on it. Okay, then we have this one is Fossil and it is a coated canvas um, it could be a makeup pouch, toiletry pouch. It's really nice, nice condition. Um, uh, iPads can fit in here. I tried my iPad, it fits. Uh, there's your little fossil. Um, it did have a little stain right there. Um, but you open it up. And there you go. There's your interior. There's no pockets. But like I said, you can use it for an iPad or toiletries or a pencil case, you know, whatever you want to do with it. And we're going to do $23 on this one. Then we have um, this one is next. This is Coach. And you have your little Coach right there. This is black leather. I think this one is vintage. Um, I can tell usually by the um, brass hardware that they used back then, and it kind of gives me like an older vibe, especially with how worn that coach is right there. But I conditioned it with the Dr. Martin Wonder Balsam, and it came out really nice. And your interior is plain. Okay. So super cute on this one, a nice little makeup bag, toiletries again, travel bag, um, and we're gonna do $28 on this one. Really nice. Then we have a coach wristlet. Well, it's more like a coach clutch because there's no like wristlet part. Um, so it is black leather and the uh, canvas. There's your coach there. There is a little bit of wear on this part but otherwise it's in good condition. And you pop that open, you have the leather on the top here, you have a zipper closure, and there's your Creed with your coach interior. It is slightly like um, discolored, not really discolored, worn I guess, The that goldish color, but super cute. Get the zipper out of there. Super cute little clutch or so just something to have in your purse to separate maybe your credit cards or something. And we're going to do 20 bucks on this one. Then we have a Betsy Johnson wristlet. Super cute, you have the uh, cheetah print sequins. This is a patent leather, it's faux patent leather. Betsy Johnson does faux leather. Um, and this one you have two two zippered sections. You don't have to open them at the same time, I just did. <laughs> and then the middle opens on a snap if you wanna keep your cards in there, in the center. I personally would keep them in the zippered compartments. But this one's really cute, nice condition, and we're gonna do 15 on it. Then I have a travel um, little toiletries bag by Sonia Kashuk. And I just love the print on it. It's so bright and pretty with the um, sunflower. Uh, there's two compartments. So this is your brand right there, Sonia Kashuk. And they are zippered compartments. So the one section 
has one big pocket. You may put, put an iPad in there or some of your toiletries. Your second section has more like pockets and zippers and stuff that you can put your smaller toiletry items in. That's a clear section. So really nice condition, nice and clean. And we're gonna do 20 bucks on this one. Then I have, so I have these by, oh no, not yet. I'm skipping around. Next we have a Dooney and Burke coin purse. This is so cute. Um, it's got the pebbled white leather with some red. The back has a little pocket, little pouch. Super nice condition on this one. You have a little zipper compartment here, zipper closure, and you can even use it on your keychain if you want. All right, so Dooney and Burke, little coin purse, $15. Really nice. Okay, now we can do what I was almost doing before. Um, this is by Anthropology, and it's a little travel set. So I have, first I have the passport little book. Okay, so this is by Anthropology. There is a little mark right there. I'm going to try to get that off. Um, Anthropology. It's like a um, like a Saffiano leather. I don't know if it actually is, but that's the kind of material that it is. So you put the book in there. So that's for your passport. This is $12. And then I have the matching um, ID tag, like travel tag for your luggage. All right, and this one is $5. But if you want both, I can do both for 15. Okay, save you a couple dollars. All right, then we have the Herschel backpack. So this is last, this is the last item. This is a Herschel backpack. It's like a mustardy yellow color. You got the front zipper pocket here nice padded straps that adjust super nice condition zipper up here nice bright red interior with a big slip pocket okay if anyone's into uh needing a backpack here you go and it's forty dollars okay so that wraps up the thrifted purse section let's open up the box from America's Thrift Supply, I ordered a mystery purse box. So if you guys fast forwarded through the beginning, I said that I was, um, I ordered the mystery purse box from America's Thrift Supply and the watch box, mystery watch box. You get, I think it's like five or 10 pounds of watches. Um, I was in contact with them and I was able to get a 15% off coupon code for you guys. If you guys would like to try any of their mystery boxes, they have so many different ones. Um, and it, the code is Kristen. I'll put that up on the screen here again. And if you put that in the promo code section of the checkout, you will save 15% on your order. And that's only through July. Okay. I have to, remember to say that and I'll put that in the description box as well with their link. It's only through the month of July the 15% off um, works. So here it is. Let's see what we got. And I forgot how much this was. I think it was, hopefully the invoice is in here. Um, it's not. I think it was 34, 29 or $34 um, plus shipping and you get one designer purse. This is just, a, oh, this is just a thank you for your order. Okay, yep. So thank you for my order, but no pricing. So here it is. Let's um, hope for a good purse. La -la -la. Okay, it's Coach, and they do give a certificate of authenticity. So they do give a authentic authentic authenticity. 
um, thing. So here it is. This is cute. You know what? I want to look up how much this was. So let me, because that would probably be, um, you know, important. So America's thrift supply. And I, I, I want to be able to give you the right price. Um, oh, I was, see, I was wrong. It was only $24.99. So $24.99 plus shipping. I'm glad I looked that up because that's important. So, um, right off the bat though, I'm getting like a perfume smell. So it does smell like a woman's perfume, which I guess is better than cigarette smoke. So there's your coach. This is cute. It's a nice size. It's in... I mean, the outside is in really, really good condition. And it is a zipper closure. There is one teeny tiny little scratch right there, but it's really nothing um, major. The inside looks really nice. So there's the interior with your Creed and the zipper. Let me make sure that inside the zipper pocket's good. Okay, good, good. Um, yeah, so this is really nice. Um, so uh, $24.99 plus shipping is a little much if I was to spend this in a store for this purse, but it's in fabulous condition. So I can definitely um, make money on this. So for example, I would ask probably $50 on this. If anybody's interested, I would ask $50. Um, I forget how much the shipping is, but it's probably like $10 or something like that. Um, so you can definitely still make a profit. Um, and it's a good bag. You're not getting, you know, something that you can't sell. I mean, I, I wouldn't even need to clean this, honestly. It's, it's in that nice of condition. So I'm happy with that. Um, I would definitely order one of these boxes again knowing that you get a really good quality, clean bag that isn't, you know, like the thread up purses that you're gonna maybe throw out one of them or something. Um, so yeah, really nice. Remember, America's, it's americasthriftsupply.com. Um, I'll show, that's what the mystery bag looks like. Designer purse mystery box. For $24.99, you get one purse. But if you use code word Kristen, you get 15% off. So that's worth it. Um, let's go into the shoes. And like I've done in my last um, two, I think, purse sale videos, if you're not interested in seeing the shoes, you can feel free to click out of the video now. I won't be offended. Um, but thank you for watching. And please click the thumbs up on your way out if you haven't already. And uh, make sure you check that sold list before you email me um, just to see if maybe the item you're interested in is already sold. Okay, so let's go into some shoes. Now I have talked about this, these uh, mystery bags that I have. Basically, um, I have a friend that helps me source uh, inventory and I have not gone through these shoes. Um, so we're gonna go through them together. Actually, the first set of shoes I purchased, so we'll go through those first, and then I have two smaller bags that are a mystery to me. So let's get them over here. Okay. And let's see what we got. So these one, these I got myself, so um, we'll go over those first. These are by Superga. And they are like a beige color sneaker. These do pretty well for me. I paid $4 for these. And they are a size nine and a half. Really nice condition. I'll just clean up the um, rubber soles a little bit. And I would ask online $35. And I would do 30 for you guys. Because remember, you guys get my discounted pricing. Um, all my pricing to you guys is discounted um, versus how much I would charge for it on eBay or Poshmark. Okay, then I have these are OTBT, which are off the beaten track. Off the, yeah, off the beaten track, OTBT. <laughs> 
Um, and these are black leather little, um, you know, casual shoes. This brand does can resell for pretty well. I paid $9.49 at Savers, but I get 20% off over there. Um, so I would list these online for maybe $40, and I would do $30 for you guys. And then I have these super cute beige Skechers. These are little Skecher mules. Um, they do have the memory foam air cooled uh, soles and they are brand new and I paid six dollars for them and they are a size six and a half. I would list them for around 35 to 40 and let's do 30 again for you guys phone is like going off like crazy right now. Um, then I found a pair of Vionics at Savers. These always sell well for me so if you can find Vionic for a good price pick them up. They are super comfortable. They're orth orthopedic comfort shoes. Um, these are they're not brand new but they're pretty close to it. Maybe worn once or twice. I paid $13.99 minus 20% and they are a size eight, and I would list them online for maybe $40, and again, $30 for you guys. Okay, then I have, these are Uggs. These are black leather, little slip-on sneakers. I have to clean the white here. I use um, <sighs> Magic Eraser. Mr. Clean Magic Eraser, <laughs> there it is, Ugg, and these are a size 10, and I paid $12 for them, and I would list them around 40, and again, 30 for you guys. All right, these are a pair of Merrill boots, and I, I've talked about this um, before, I'll talk about it again, I list shoes like this year round. I've sold boots in the summer and I've sold sandals in the winter. So people live all over the world in all different kind of climates. So um, always, you know, list all your stuff all year round. So these I paid $8 and they're a size nine and a half and they have an inside zipper, really cute leather Merrells and I would list these Maybe 40 to 45, and guess what? 30 for you guys. <laughs> All right, then I found these are by Silent D, which is an anthropology brand, and they are a super cute little heeled slingback pointed toe um, shoe, butter leather. These are a size 40, so that's a size 10. Um, and I paid $6.99 and yep, leather. And I would do 40 online, 30 for you guys. <laughs> All right. Then these, these actually, my friend had gotten, um, I just had them in this box. Uh, these are Rebecca Minkoff, but there's a chunk missing out of the leather right here. So I wasn't really sure what to do with that. Um, you can probably just color it in with Sharpie, but I don't know. They're super cute. They're Rebecca Minkoff. They're, you know, they're expensive shoes. They're a size eight and a half. Super cute. So if anyone's interested in these, um, I'll just do 20 bucks because there's that missing leather right there and there, but that doesn't matter. That matters. <laughs> So eight and a half, 20 bucks on the Rebecca Minkoff. Okay, now let's get into the mystery bags of shoes um, that she purchased. We have a little deal. Um, so let's see what we got. Oh. All right, first up, I see a pair of Allegria. These sell really well. Uh, better than Dansko, I think. I can't sell Dansko to save my life, but um, Allegria, yes, please. 
a little bit of scuffing right there. I should be able to get that out. Um, these are really popular uh, for nurses or chefs or uh, doctors, people that are on their feet for a really long time. They're super comfortable. They were $10 and they are a size 40, so it's a size 10. Um, probably close to $50 on these, 40 to $50 and 30 for you guys. What else we've got in here? Let's see. These are 275 Central. I've never heard of that brand. They are really cute though. They are a brown strappy peep toe or open toe espadrille platform sandal. That, that's a uh, title for your uh, eBay listing. Um, they're size 39, so it's a nine. They are real leather. They feel really nice. I mean, look at all the stud detailing and stuff. There is a little bit of gold tone loss right there. Actually, quite a bit on this side too. Um, so I don't know how that's gonna work out. Um, but I will put some pricing on the screen because I've never heard of this brand and um, I'll let you guys know. I'll put those over there so I don't forget to do the price. Then we have a pair of Michael Kors. These are cute. These are some nice chunky um, platform heels. They are a brown uh, leather. They're a size eight and a half. They actually appear to be in really nice condition. Yeah, pretty nice. So eight and a half Michael Kors platform heels. Um, 50 online and 35 for you guys. Then we have a pair of Skechers. Skechers, okay. Skechers is the number one top selling shoe brand ever. Skechers, if you, if you wanna know what the number one shoe brand is, Skechers. Look it up. <laughs> um, so here you go, Skechers, these are cute. These are like a, uh, like a meshy kind of fabric. They have the relaxed fit air-cooled memory foam in, uh, inside. They are size seven. They were $10. And I would probably list them online for 30, maybe 25 to 30, and we'll do 20 for you guys. Here's another pair of Skechers. These are cute. These are little like peep toe wedge canvas with the um, rhinestones. They definitely need a little bit of a bath because they are dirty. But I think all the rhinestones are here. So that's good. They were $10. Do I see a size? Size nine. So these guys um, would probably be um, 25 to 30 online and I would do 20 for you guys. Here are a pair of Nikes. These were $20. These might go for more money. I, I do not know sneakers, um, but these are really cute. There's like a little, uh, you know, black and white print in there. Cool uh, heels. They are, they were $20. They're in good shape. They're a size eight and a half. So I will put pricing information on the screen for these as well. Okay, that's one bag done. Now we have another, and let's see. Cliffs by White Mountain. These are cute, these look super comfy. So these have like a really squishy suede uh, footbed, leather, black leather here, size eight. They were $5, really nice, they look super comfy. Um, so I would do, I think maybe 30, 25 to 30 online and 20 for you guys. Those, those are in really nice condition. They might even be new, maybe. <laughs> then we have, speaking of dance co, here we go. All right, these, these, this style I tend to be able to sell a little bit better than the clogs. 
This is Dansko. These are a little like Mary Jane style slip-on shoe. Again, this brand is very comfortable. These were $10. They're a size nine. And I would list them online for probably around 40 or 45 and do 30 for you guys. We have a pair of Vionics. These are new. These look, yeah, these are new. They're super cute. They are a white leather. And again, Vionics are, they have that orthopedic comfort. Um, they are a size eight. Really nice. Uh, since these are new, 50 bucks online, 40 for you guys. These retail for like $80, so it's they're a really great shoe. All right, then we have Unisa. These are pretty interesting. I don't know the pattern on this. It's like a snake print, but like not. It's like a snake texture, but not the, the color. <laughs> But a nice chunky block heel. These are in good condition. They look maybe worn once or twice. They were $5. They're a size 10. Super cute. And I will do maybe 25 to 30 online and 20 for you guys. I'm trying to find the mates here. We have this cute pair of Sam Edelman sandals. These are like a um, brassy tone metal. And it looks like these would this would tie up your ankle. Um, so super cute. It is a black suede. They are a size six and a half. Five dollars, I guess. Um, so these are cute, very interesting. Uh, maybe 25 online, 20 for you guys. We have another pair of Vionics. These are actually the same style as the white ones. These are just uh, worn and not new. They are size eight as well, but these are the gold. Um, you know, I can wipe them down for you. They are, it doesn't have a price, but uh, size 8 gold sandal. These I would probably list online for maybe 30 and do um, 20 for you guys. Okay. We have two more pairs. We have another pair of Vionics. Oh, did I give you the... Yeah, those are size 8. All right, another pair of Vionics. These are black um, snake print and the patent leather. And all of them have the zip, the Velcro on all the straps. Um, this one, I can't read that one. A size eight, so I'm sure both of these came from the same person. Um, so 20, probably 30 online, I just have to clean them up a little bit, and 20 for you guys. And then last pair we have are from La Plume. And they are a really cute pair of um, open toe sandals with a little bit of a wedge. They are leather, um, size 40, so that's a size 10. Really nice leather footbed as well. Um, probably 35 to 40 online. And we'll do like 28 for you guys. Super cute. Okay, that wraps up today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know, um, maybe you have a favorite piece. Did you like the America's Thrift Supply Mystery Box? Are you going to try the 15% off coupon and try your first mystery box from them? Let me know in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. Click that thumbs up on your way out and subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you in the next one.